um, hello, it's time for Sign on God Send. Uh, as you can see, I'm very excited. So excited, in fact, that I forgot to unmute my mic in the beginning. Uh, with no announcements that are prevalent, uh, though I would like to congratulate uh, the Dystopia Rising stream that took place earlier this week, and of course to congratulate uh, Onyx Path for the you know it's their 10 year anniversary this year. Um, but us being scheduled for the end of the week, uh, we're not complaining. We love the end of the week. We love this time slot. Uh, but with us being scheduled at the end of the week, we're kind of the last to be like, hey, hope you watched this thing on Tuesday. Uh, but enough of my rambling. Like I said, I'm very excited to start. So let's meet our scions, shall we? Hello. Good to see you all. Happy you could join us. Just another day of wholesome Wukong things. Hello, I'm Gregor DeWitt. Uh, apparently, I am to relocate to California. God has determined this. Hello, I am Majin. Just got my ass kicked, but I'm a god. Or close to it, getting there eventually. Yeah. Indeed, uh, all of our characters are on their way to uh, godhood. Gregor, however, is the only normal one in the band, it looks like. You know, still, no visitation. Seems like he just hangs out with very powerful people. Uh, and much like he said, now he must move to California. Uh, Sun yes. Wukong has decreed it. So with that being said, let's jump into this episode of Scion Godsend. When last we left our heroes, a quick recap is necessary. When last we left our heroes, um, Gregor was made to pack. In the very first episode, Gregor was evicted. Um, well, everyone in his building was evicted as the uh, owner of the building and the landlord decided to sell the building uh, to a Scion Hero organization known as Planar Scion Group. Um, is this uh, is to be used as Scion housing, and uh, basically everyone in the building was shit out of luck. Uh, Gregor was resigned to his fate. He was packing. His friends were helping him uh, figure his life out. You know where are you going to live next? Uh, during this, you know they heard an altercation between the landlord and another tenant, uh, a woman uh, who lives a floor up from Gregor. Uh, that they overheard uh, works two jobs as a single mother and was not doing great uh, with this unexpected move, especially with this being illegally said that everyone needs to be out by the end of the week. As such, um, they went to approach the landlord and ask uh, about the legality of it all and the uh, if the tenants would at least be getting the money back for this the rent that they had already paid as it was the beginning of January. During this conversation, uh, one of the children took rather kindly to Majin, uh, admiring his jacket, admire, admiring the vest, and, um, you know, creating an awkward scenario for all, as children do. But our heroes, being the heroes that they are, could not stand idly by while this woman was forced out of her home. They chose to intervene, chose to make sure that she got her month's rent back. That evening, while Gregor was packing, and again, perhaps spiraling a little bit about where he was going to live, while Majin and Charles played, played his PlayStation 5, Gregor received a phone call on his landline, because he still has one of those. I have decreed it. Um... The Scion, the Planar Scion organization contacted Gregor, stating that the landlord contacted them saying he felt uncomfortable. He felt threatened, and he was afraid to go to the police. As such, a meeting has been scheduled with Gregor for the next morning at 8 a.m. All three of them decided they would be going together. And so they did. 
where they encountered a scion at the head of security, Ted Yuen, a scion of the Divine General himself, of the Shen Pantheon. There was a disagreement. Gregor was asked to leave. Charles challenged the individual to a fight. Due to scale and how advanced this individual already had gone on in his uh, visitation and his awakening in his path, Charles very quickly got his ass handed to him in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Majin recorded the fight, much to the anger of Ted Yuen. Ted bid him to turn the phone off, delete the footage. Majin did not. And so Mr. Yuen destroyed the phone himself and then began work on Majin. Mr. Yuen told Majin to yield and to beg for Charles' life, to which Majin did not. Very specifically asked him, please, please stop being such a douche. Through the ass beating that ensued, Majin noticed a change when he coughed up and spat out his blood. It was no longer crimson red. It was mixed in with this beautiful gold. Eventually, all of the crimson was gone. Majin's visitation was at hand. The newfound strength of a scion, he and Charles having had time to uh, correct his ribs and uh, recover from his lungs being almost collapsed on themselves. Charles and Majin began their work on Mr. Yuen. Together, they stood a chance at least. In a very Captain America and Winter Soldier against Iron Man moment, they ganged up on Mr. Yuen. And they fought to a point where Mr. Yuen was bleeding and injured. Now, Gregor downstairs was still in the building and treated to the sight of a horde of horses and men. Uh, a Tumen is what it's called, uh, depending on the number. Led by the great Khan himself as they stormed the building and made their way up to Charles and Majin. The great Khan made it very clear that Mr. Yuen would not be laying a hand on his son again. Yes, indeed, Majin is revealed to be a scion of the great Khan himself. A visitation was had. The Our heroes departed the building. Majin was given some answers about his origin and told that he would have a, that the Great Khan would have a task for him very soon. Speaking of tasks, as soon as they left the building, Charles was tackled off of his somersault cloud by his own father, the great Sun Wukong, who bid him he must journey west and deliver Gregor to California, since he has no home here. Sun Wukong has decided that Charles's first task as a scion, the great Monkey King, will be to deliver his version of Tripitaka the Monk, to the West. And that is where we would pick up now, with our heroes, Majin, Gregor, and Charles. Charles, you are still on your back. Uh, your father is still, the staff just standing over you, chest puffed out. Do you accept this great task, my son? You know I do, like... Cool, that settles that here. Oh, uh, why are you laying down? I don't know, some deranged lunatic spear-tackled me off my fucking cloud. Man, you gotta keep better care of yourself. You gotta keep aware of your surroundings, man. He reaches down his hand. Yeah. Who do you think would win a fight? You or his dad? Oh, I would... Beat the fucking brakes off of the great con. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I'll, I'll I'll pass along the message. You you don't gotta do that. 
just saying, a challenge is a challenge. I'll, I'll pass it along. <laughs> you can't prove okay. I mean, all right, if you if you want to, I mean, it's not going to end well for anybody. I'm just saying, like, history. I, I mean, I I fought dragons and demons and shit. I mean, he just fought people. But I mean, whatever. There's a <laughs> yeah, I mean, a whinny of horses, and Sun Wukong kind of like clutches his staff and just. <laughs> What's your guys' day like? It's been a good day. You good. see that shit we pulled with that scion up there? No, I had, I missed most of that. Ch Charles, pretty, you got your ass pretty beat. Cool. Be, yeah, you mean it's a I got my day. ass beat. And then we both came back and whooped the shit out of him. Right on. See, tag team. If It's like I always say. If you can't beat them head on, cheat. That's exactly it. Okay. I, I expected do something do. slightly more profound. No, not everything's a fucking fortune cookie. This is the real world, Gregor. Get your shit together. No, like, okay. literally get your shit together. We're going to California. Woo! Yes. Woo! What? Uh -huh. Can I ask why California? Woo! Woo! That's right. That's the spirit. All right, I got shit to go do. Um... You guys have a great day. It's good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. So, how much do plane tickets cost? You're not allowed to fly. No, we no ground transport only, guys. We oh, the journey. Shit. This no, is. I if I find out I'm you cheated, even, even allowed to take my cloud over a certain height. Yeah, you got to stay ground level. I mean, you can fly around. Like, if you're stopping for the night, you can go whisk around and scout ahead, do whatever you want. But you can't. Point is, you got to. It's got to be a journey. It's got to be, you know, a path. You know, you can't just get in the spirit. I mean, you you just said if we can't do it head head on, we should cheat. Fair, but don't. I I think it's one of those. We'll get back to that. He smacks himself, and you see that he <laughs> turns into a golden mist, and a single golden monkey hair drifts to the ground. Your dad, dad is weird. Your dad is weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess. Have we had free beers today? Let's go to the bar. I, I want to beat the <laughs> shit out for one week. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did. <laughs> no, we didn't. We didn't have. It has been yesterday. Today. Yeah. It's it's ten, it's eleven in the morning. God damn it! It's so early. Great time for Bloody Marys. Oh, hasn't it's eleven. Been, in... Hasn't even been twenty four hours since uh, all this nonsense started. <laughs> That's the best part. We live well, a very down. productive social life. <laughs> Let's uh, go get fucked up and pack. I got I got to pack. I'm going to I'm going to have to pass. We need to we need to get you a place to live on the road like an RV. I would appreciate that. I don't or I don't want to be... get a bike. I have saying. too much things to be in a bike. I mean, what am what I going to do with a my TV? Trailer? You can get a trailer to carry behind the bike. I feel like a bike's not an adequate vehicle with which to care which to haul a trailer. I don't care either way. Um, Majin, do you know any like RV people? I know yeah, a few. I, know. I just, I would just need a hand, you know, finding them. Yeah, I know a few. Um, yeah, made some connections along the way. See if anybody got, right. you know, some RVs they're trying to sell or get rid of. Um, yeah. Cool. Instead so of going to the bar, could you, could you chase that up today? After the bar. All right. Yeah, we have to. The bar is our uh, office. You know, like we have to run everything from there. It's, you didn't know where it was. I still don't know where it is. <laughs> That's fair. All right. I'm. I'm gonna go pack though. Uh, I obviously need to. Don't forget Believe the PS Five. 
No, no. It's just like one of the most valuable things that I own. I I would totally just casually forget it in a place that it's going See, to be. See, it's a good thing I reminded you not to then. That's a fair that... point. <sighs> My life is falling <laughs> apart in front of me, and there's literally nothing I can do to stop it as the gods have willed it. Not falling apart. This is a new beginning. This is essentially okay, your, your life is birth. finally coming together. Scion. <laughs> <laughs> During that time you had a steady life, well, we decided not no fucking more. You're going to be part of our character growth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like that NPC, that uh, freaking like, goblin NPC that just gets picked up by the party. <laughs> <clears throat> so, no. you guys head to various locations. Uh, Charles and Majin, you guys can go ahead and drink. Gregory, you head home and pack. Um, we join, uh, before we do a sort of time skip into the next day, Gregory, you're alone packing. Uh, Perhaps Charles and Majin are on their way home, perhaps drunkenly so, perhaps not. Who's to say? The point is you're alone, and you're packing, and you have a phone call. And your cell phone rings, and it is, um, it is your informant. The woman you had spoken with about your initial vision. Answer it. Uh, go for Gregor. There's silence. And there is... Not silence. Something on the other end is... What, what is that sound? It sounds as if... The phone is underwater. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be operational then at that point. It sounds as if there is splashing. The movement of a, an arm or perhaps a limb beneath the waves, the rushing of liquid. You hear. Yeah. This drowned sound. As you go to speak her name. And the sputtering. As if she is returned, breaking the breaking the surface of the water and coughing. Jasmine. There's silence as she coughs and catches her breath. Jasmine, where are you? He is the Black Pharaoh. He is the patron of witches. Write your name in his book, and you will be powerful. He is the showman, offering new to the board. He is the scientist, offering theories and news to those that would seek the truth. He is a Svengali, attracting those of movie stars and influencers. He is corruption. He is chaos. And he will claim you. <coughs> it's as if she is being choked. I'm going to start heading out. I'm going to go try to get to her shop, because obviously something's crazy going on at this point. Not hanging up or anything, just phone on speaker and at a... Starts off brisk pace, becomes jog, becomes leaping downstairs, becomes straight up run. You do this. You passed Majin and Charles on the way. 
You guys see Charles, or rather, you guys see Gregor very uh, distraught looking, rushing out of the building. You need a run? Come on! Yes! Yes! Okay, I'll we'll follow right behind. All right, yeah. I'll hop on my cloud. I'll offer hop, Gregor to hop on. <laughs> yeah, hop on right behind him and I'll direct him by hand over shoulder point that direction. You direct him uh, to Madame Jasmine's abode. He's only a couple blocks away. He gets her, her apartment. And obviously, does not answer. Begin to knock feverishly. There's no response. You want me to break down the door? Yes, Chuck, please break down the door. I will break down the door. You do so. Uh, Madam Jasmine's home is... Uh, uh, stereotypical of her profession uh, she plays into the stereotype as it makes customers feel uh, as if it is authentic strangely enough um, so you see you know beads in front of the main door and the the, the every archway has just a bead curtain uh, you see a table with uh, with heavy cloths that looks like they are imported from India you can see tapestries along the walls incense burning here the incense is burned out. Not but nice. ash sits in that bowl. Gregor? I'm going to start running around looking for her, calling her name. I'll probably uh break her character by yelling her actual name. Understood. Uh, Charles, um, you're here as well. You see these things. Um, Majin, did you go with them? Yep. You'll arrive a little, uh, a little, perhaps a little bit later, as uh, you're still confined to laws of traffic. You know, lane splitting is, can only get you so far compared to flight. Um, but you'll <laughs> arrive, uh, very shortly here, as they are, uh, I'll say whenever you hear Charles break down the door, and as you're coming up the stairs. Uh, you search for her, Gregor. Uh, first place you look, it's a one-bedroom apartment. So, you know, it's yeah. a bedroom in a living in a living room. Uh, you check the uh, the bedroom. She's here. She's lying unconscious on her bed. The loose, flowing clothing, uh, the uh, earrings, the long, flowing earrings she has cast uh, to the side of her head. Her hair is loose. Um, she looks as if she is turning blue. She has bruises around her neck. Uh, start CPR as best I can. Uh, make sure uh, she's turning blue. She's probably choking. Uh, see, first, you know, yell at her. Are you okay? No response. Um, then, if she she's turning blue, I don't imagine she's breathing. She is not breathing. Does she have a pulse? She has a pulse. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I guess I'm starting CPR then, which I imagine you want to check for. <coughs> you start CPR. Um, I'm, I'm going to give this to you. Um, part of, uh, you know, uh, the police academy is uh, sort of emergency response to a point um plus you know i haven't met a single person that doesn't know at least the compression portion of cpr um so i'll give this to you uh you'll need to move her off the bed to do this as she needs a firm surface oh, yeah. uh so right. you do this um you start cpr majin <laughs> charles what are you guys up to uh i would just be i guess clearing out the room i came in a little late so i'm not really sure what's going on but yeah making sure the area is safe you do this charles uh, i'll light some incense 
Understood. Uh, Gregor, you uh, perform CPR. Um, she coughs up this burst of salt water mixed with something terrible and black and dark. This ichor it stains her lips and her mouth as she coughs. Uh, just... Eyes bulge open. She looks to you. The crawling chaos is among us. And she passes out. What? She breathing and all that, yeah? Indeed. Okay, uh... We need to get her to a hospital. You want me to call an ambulance? Uh, no. She is not going to want to get in an ambulance. Those things are expensive. <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah. Okay. Um... Is she conscious enough to guide me to the hospital? The real villain of this campaign is the American medical system. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, you... the joke is that it's not that that's true. That is the real villain of this campaign. <laughs> we will be taking on Big Pharma. <laughs> uh, we could throw her across the bike, I guess. Maybe. I don't. Uh, there's. Unless the cloud fits. Uh, if Chuck wouldn't mind holding her, we can uh, have him follow you on the bike. No, I don't mind. All right. Was that a fucking chicken? I thought that was a dog. I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't tell. Anyway, um, you guys whisk her away to a hospital. Um, yeah, basically, where she's given the proper treatment. Um, she is going to need time. To recover. There's no telling how long she was unconscious, how long she was losing oxygen. She may have some injuries, some long term effects. But you've done your part, and the police, of course, will be questioning you all this evening. Yep. Are you good? Was she, what, like a, a girlfriend of yours, or? I wouldn't say we were that close. She was a good friend. I hope she. Uh, I hope she makes a recovery. Um. I need to see what. I need to see the scene. I need to see the scene. Uh, if the police are questioning us, is it we're brought in for questioning, or is it just the? So what happened? So what happened? You guys are questioning right. basically at the hospital, and then. You know, told to, uh, you know, not exactly to not leave town, but, you know, they might have some further questions for you. And they insinuate that leaving town immediately is probably going to look bad. Yeah. Uh, I would probably try to go back then, now that she's at least safe to her place, because uh, I have questions. Now that the police are done with their questions. Understood. Um, the police arrive. The police are already there. They've set up a crime scene. Um, you have contacts within the police. You can kind of finagle your way in. Um, yeah, just, just said, "Oh, come on, man. Let, let, let me at least look. I, f I found her. I I feel like I I let me have my have let me have my stab at it. She's a very close friend of mine." Understood. You do this. What are you looking for, Gregor? Uh, so, the incense were, were burned out. I, she was on the bed, though. She also looked like she was choked. Obviously, there's signs of forced entry on our side. And the fact that we were able to enter, we had to force our way in. For any other forced entry would be a, my initial thing. Uh, because it looks like she was choked, but also she had the same thing I had. 
it's entirely possible that um, she ended up doing some of her weird witch voodoo stuff to uh, get to the point to uh, evoke a similar vision. Does she have any notes on the names that she listed? As you look, you find books. Um, she was looking into your vision for you. Uh, you can find that she uh, was doing her research. Um, some of the notes, some of the pages of books are torn out. There's one particular that she was... Uh, that is open and a number of pages, probably about six or seven, are just ripped away. Missing. Gone. It is an older tome. There's no title cover, uh, title on the cover, but flipping to the very front, discusses the old gods and the primordial beings that helped shape this world. Hmm. Hmm. I'll probably steal this. If I'm able. You can do this. And then, uh... This. Why the ripping pages? Why the... Why was she physically choked? What happened here? Um... Is there a, uh... Any... She sounded like she was... Underwater when I first talked to her. she was, that wasn't some sort of insanity. Why drop her on the bed? Is there any, uh, indication such as, say, scorch marks or anything in, in the, uh, bedroom? No scorch marks. Not a, not even a, um, no splash of water. It was the the bathtub, of course, is dry, though it could have dried by the time between, uh, you know, you finding her and then whisking her away to the hospital coming back. Yeah. What happened here? Pages are torn. She was my primary occult contact. I don't know who else to talk to about this. Uh, let's see. I need a lead. Come on, Jasmine, you're usually... Yeah. You're not a good note-taker, but you take notes. I've seen them. Try as you might, you don't find a lead here. And eventually you must return home. Damn it. All right. What's your guys' yeah. evening look like? I'm trying to convince uh, Gregory not to unplug the PlayStation 5 until after we go to bed. I'm not going to unplug the PlayStation 5 until we move out. Though, yeah. you two, though, before you two can play it, you need at least one RV lined up. I'm going to start calling RVs. Yeah, before I get to calling RVs, I'm going to check on Gregor to make sure he's good. This yeah. is uh, an excellent time. Um, we'll get to you checking on Gregor. An excellent um, time to bring up a mechanic uh, in Scion. You have a path, an origin, a, a role, and a society slash pantheon path. Um, both you and Majin, I believe, have a path where uh, an RV place is a contact or someone lives in an RV park. You guys can choose to invoke those paths, and that will give you guys plus two enhancement toward this effort. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and invoke my survivalist path with the RV neighborhoods. Majin, would you like to do the same? Yeah. Yeah, I will. Understood. So you can grant this plus two enhancement to, uh, to Charles as he's figuring this out, or you can, we'll, again, we'll get to you checking on regular before you start helping, but um, you guys can either make separate rolls or roll together and grant an extra die and all that good stuff. Uh, 
Uh, we'll do separate rolls. Okay. Um, so with both of you invoking that path, um, both of you will be rolling, uh, and you both have two enhancement. So, a roll I need from you guys is... I'm going to call this, I think, your skill, this, well, choose a skill. What would you guys like? How do you guys want to go about this? Well, would it be a skill that's associated with that path? doesn't have to be. An argument can be made for any skill, really. Anything that you have dots in. Okay. Um, I guess I would try and take uh, survival. Like, the things that I've learned from the RV neighborhoods that I've been through while I was uh, trekking across Nova Scotia. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, then, um, I'll ask for what approach as well. Uh, power, finesse, resistance. How would you like to go about this? This is going to be in the social arena. Get making these phone calls. Then I'll do power. <clears throat> Calling people your sheer charm. Trying to uh, talk down prices and see if they know anybody and all of that. Go ahead and give me that roll. Majin, the same question goes for you. What skill would you like to use? What? How do you want to go about mm -hmm. this? I would say either persuasion or pilot, one of the two. I'm more inclined to think persuasion than pilot. Um, so persuasion, and then what? Uh, what approach would you like? Power, finesse, resistance. Again, this will be in the social arena. Ah, uh, finesse. Understood. Persuasion, manipulation. By all means, please. We have five success. Five successes. Five material successes. With a plus two enhancement, that brings you to seven. Oh, okay. I rolled two excess dice. No, no. Uh, it remember, is what I thought the plus two enhancement was. No worries. Remember enhancement that it uh, provides you automatic successes. Okay. Then, yeah, uh, it's cool if you um, just take the five. Then, yeah, sorry. I'll, we'll take the five for now, yeah. Uh, six successes. Six successes. Uh, both of you guys have some a lot of stuff lined up, um, and it's really a matter of Gregor's preference. Um, at the end of it all, like you've talked down prices as much as possible. You know, if he wants, you know, a nicer RV and like the the like a full like an RV, not just a camper shell or like you know a, a trailer. Um, it's going to cost more money, of course. Uh, even despite what you guys, you know, talking things down. But you guys have a number of things lined up for him to talk to about. Uh, Majin and Gregor, Majin, you wanted to check on him. Yeah, you, you good? No, no, I think that something... The only reason she was in trouble today was because I asked her to look into something. Oh, you think somebody like broke in or the only Maybe. son of a break in was ours. Oh well, what was she looking at? Presumably this book. Alternatively, she was Remember when I was in the bar and I spat up that liquid, that salt water? Uh, yeah. 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 So I asked her to look into that for me. She said, the Black Pharaoh. She listed off a number of titles the scientist, the entertainer, corruption. The crawling chaos? I don't know what any of that means. Is that all one person or is it multiple? Or is it a month or is it a titan? That's. Mm -hmm. She said it sounded like titan spawn stuff, so. Maybe a particular titan spawn? I'll Could be, be honest, targeting. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 
could be targeting me because I'm the mortal. And it could be trying to take you two out early on. You think this is some, like, Scion shit going down? It happened right after... Uh, it happened right after a visitation. That can't be a coincidence. Either an old enemy of Sun Wukong that really want, doesn't want him to have any kids. And attacking the mortal makes sense because that's the... That's how you can lure him into a, a trap. That's what I would do. Well, um, yeah, I'm not much of an intellectual, but um, if you need right. somebody to track down or just for backup or whatever, uh, I mean, you know we're here for you, so. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Uh I might just call in on that, depending on exactly what this is, especially if it is actually going after Charles, and I'm just the stepping stone. Yeah, well. What does all of that mean? Um, we do got a couple RVs lined up for you, so. All right. I don't know if you still want to leave with all this stuff going down, but. I don't want to, but one of the gods has decreed it, so, and it wouldn't be a good idea to make an enemy of the god. Plus, if it is targeting you two, and, or even me, which I don't know why I would have targeted a mortal, um, but if it is, moving you two away from her might be the best option. And if a journey to the west must ensue, a journey to the west must ensue. You sure you're immortal? I mean, given our luck. Two scions. Everything happens in threes. Yes, but the chances of two scions awakening at within the same 24-hour period is insane, especially two scions that knew each other and were raised in the same house yeah well, regardless you know uh, and if it, if it is if i am then whatever this thing is it's probably it might be trying to nip me in the bud and moving away from her might help might help whatever is going on if it is somebody that's trying to um Take us out, take you, me, or Charles out. Uh, it's going to have a bad day. So. Yeah, I agree. God, I hope you're not right, especially if it's, if it's Zeus. He causes so many problems. I have to, I'll have to try to do some research. Just don't know where to do research. I'm like, well, no, there, there, I'm sure there's some, there might be some, what, some place I can go. Well, if you need me, I'm going to be in a living room. Since we got you the right I'm going to be soul caliber, though. Nah, it's, 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 this motherfucker. <sighs> All right. Uh, it's a studio apartment, so that it's just the other side of the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take my character. Maxi is mine. That's fine. Mitsurugi's about to clap that ass five ways to Sunday. Uh, have have fun. Uh, I'm going to. Most of my stuff's already packed. I'm going to. Uh, contemplate and probably read this and see if there's any hint of what happened. Alright. You guys eventually find yourselves to sleep. Charles and Majin playing PlayStation 5. Gregor, you usually try to be asleep and have the house quiet for a while, but you find yourself mulling over these pages, mulling over these clues. Yeah. To the point where you lose 
You lose interest in trying to uh, maintain quiet. You block them out. You keep focused. Eventually, Gregor falls asleep. Maj and Charles, you guys continue playing play PlayStation to the point where you look outside and you're like, Oh, oh shit, that's the crest of daylight. Fuck. And so you guys sleep. Majin, you are awakened a few hours later, probably about four, maybe five hours later, by your cell phone. And it's up to you to decide whether or not you wake up the whole household with your cell phone, if, if it's on vibrate, if it's on silent, if it's on... Well. Oh, it's on vibrate and, you know, max volume. Yeah. Okay. Uh... You wake up, um, you and Charles both are passed out, kind of on the couch, just separate, uh, hugging the, each a different arm, or at least that's where you left uh, yourselves. Charles is now curled up, kind of like a cat, on one of the top cushions of the couch, just, it it's, it's insane, he's like huddled, but like hugging onto the back of the couch, gripping it. This is what you see when you wake up and your phone is just Yeah, it's fucking weird. I'll answer it. It's an unknown number and the moment you answer, you just wake up, sleepyhead. I heard you're in New York. Mm. Who's this? Don't tell me you've forgotten me already. It's only been a few years. It sounds like your old friend. Jessica Puolani. Jessica? How'd you get my number? I I find shit. That's I literally hunt things for a living, and hunting a number is no different than hunting an animal. Are you calling me an animal? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, no, without a doubt. Most of the time. What's up, Jessica? How, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm in Wait. New York. I'm actually calling, seeing if you wanted to grab breakfast. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, I got Charles and Greg here, too. Charles is there? Yeah. Wow. He's I haven't seen him since, like... Up. I think I, I ran into him in Florida. Oh. I mean, maybe. I don't, he, he just roams, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. We kept... Like, we found him... In one of our in one of our huts, we had set up, and it was a big thing. He almost got killed. He doesn't know that, but maybe he does. I don't know. Okay. Oh shit. Well, yeah. Let me let me get them up, and uh, yeah, let me get them up, and we'll meet you. Yeah. Where are you um, at? I'm on. She gives you the name of a bakery on uh, on a particular street in manhattan i don't know every street in manhattan but i do know it's a grid system charles <laughs> hey man those are the compute most confusing systems you never know where you are um it all looks the same but she gives you a location she says i'll meet you there bring your friends all right see you soon nice to hear from you yep see you soon and uh, I'll wake up everybody else. Charles, so you've only been asleep for a few hours. Gregor, you've been asleep yeah. probably about seven, maybe eight at this point. So you're fine. Uh, yeah. You know, just jarring to be woken up, but you know, yeah. you're not going to be as sleep deprived as they are. Mm. Yeah. Jessica's here. Supposed to be meeting her for breakfast. Nice. Okay. All right, that sounds good. Greg, are you coming with me? Sure, Charles. Like well, let's go. I'm going to walk out the window. Ch but why? That's not even the one the fire escape's on. Yeah. <laughs> Charles, you leap out the window. Um, 
like Greg Russo says, the, the, the fire escape is not. Uh, luckily, your cloud is just hanging oh, out outside the I window. I didn't leave. I, I just walked off the, <laughs> the window. Um, yeah, you guys prepare yourselves for the day. Going to go meet an old friend. Yeah. Jessica Pulani, as you all know. Um, in the world of Scion, um, orphanages are particularly interesting, in my opinion. Um, there are, of course, deities that most associate themselves with children. There are, um, you know, the, the Loa, uh, a very particular baron, uh, keeps, uh, keeps children very close, keeps them precious to him. Um, there are, of course, deities that are uh, attuned specifically to those uh, children without parents. And you, of course, have gods that uh, identify and, you know, watch over the young and then there are deities that may not have an affinity for the young and the children, but they do have a use for them. Artemis is one of those deities. For her great hunt, she gathers multitudes of women. And in an orphanage in the world of Scion, it is either an escape for an orphan to be able to have a visit from Artemis while she makes her rounds across the countries or a nightmare. Children will lose their friends after being denied or not having a home for so long. Some children will resign themselves to joining Artemis's hunt. Much to the terror and the Sadness of their friends. Others view it as an amazing opportunity. Others encourage the decision. No matter how you feel about it, it is a fact of the world that Artemis will travel to orphanages and gather young women that may not be inclined to wait for a home to find them. I'll ask the characters. How did you feel when Jessica said that she was going to be joining Artemis on her hunt? I felt joy. She found a family. That was more than most of us. She, it was a very unconventional family, but she found family. Indeed. Yeah, I feel like I would have encouraged it. I'm like, go out, go in the world, face these challenges beat the pants off these fucking animals. Majin? Yeah, I would have felt hurt. Um, As if you were being left alone. Yeah. Would you have um, voiced this to her? No. I would have been hurt, but understanding and... Uh, yeah, maybe a little closed off. Indeed. the department. As Jessica left, you know, she vowed she would keep in touch with all of you. And that eventually when you all had homes and families, you guys would meet up. No, you guys never, never found a home, never found a family. But she still kept in touch with most of you. Gregor, you haven't heard from her in a long, long time since she left. It's never occurred to you to, you know, try to find her. She made her choice and people drift apart. It's not, there's no malice there. There's no, you know, discontentment. Things happen. But Maj and Charles, you've ran into her a couple times on your travels and you've kept in touch. She has your number, Maj and Charles, she would have your number if you didn't trade your fucking phone out every year and a half, maybe half a year. Can't help that I lose it. <clears throat> yeah, but you don't have to change your phone plan each time. You also don't need to change carriers. I'm never in the same place. Time. I just go to the nearest phone store and I'm like, hey, I need a phone. And they're like, do you have a plan with us? I'm like, nope. No, what? I really don't do you want have a credit one. card? I'm like, absolutely not. What the fuck is this? You think <laughs> I pay taxes? 
your credit is horrible. Your credit is <laughs> abysmal. It doesn't exist. It, it's God, dude. It's either it's not, either absolutely not having credit would terrible. be better than having than having his credit. Not having any credit, credit would be better. Four out of ten. <laughs> that's good, right, guys? Lower that's number means right. good, right? Like, that's what that is. Uh, uh, they're, they're asking, they're gauging it out of ten, right? Like that's what that is. <laughs> it's only my credit score is a ten out of ten. It's no, a, it's a great thing I think Charles they told you that because then otherwise he would not make it in this in this place. I th I think they told you that your credit credit score was a ten and a ten because there are multiple credit scores. So that's you guys like. You guys uh, ready yourselves to go meet with Jessica. And it's been a long time for all of you. Uh, Gregor, it's been the longest for you. I've also been the most stationary. She probably just hasn't been here. Yeah. yeah. So, what would you guys like to do? How would you guys... I mean, Charles, I, I, I would ask how you prepare, but you just left out the window. Yeah. I would change my shirt... I would uh just throw some of my clothes in, into the dryer, you know, heat treatment. Understood. Get that nice uh that uh, uh that the the lint catcher smell, the the little yeah. fabric softener smell. Um, you don't need to to wash it. The heat kills all the germs. So it's not. It's <laughs> not how that works. Exactly how that works. Uh, he also doesn't. Still not as bad I'm as getting dry shampoo and stuff. Still not as bad as a spicy chicken with mac sauce. And you fucking disgusting creature. So, uh, <laughs> you guys make your way. You guys get uh, dressed and prepared. And then you guys are on your way. Uh, Charles, I'm imagining you're going to take the cloud mod on your bike. Uh, Gregor, their modes of transportation. Are you going to end up having to hook on the back of Charles again? Almost certainly. This, this is probably going to be my life for a minute. Just. Understood. Uh, I am the baby monkey that clings to his back. Indeed. Indeed you are. Uh, you guys make your way over to the bakery. Um, it's, um, it's a little... It's just this little shop. Uh, looks like it sells donuts and croissants and things. There's a couple uh, chairs uh, and and uh small tables set very close to the, uh, the side of the building so as not to impede the traffic of new york and the walking walking traffic of new york um but yeah you guys are uh on approach and you guys can see jessica she looks great um jessica being of uh polynesian descent uh is uh uh, a, a warmer skin tone um her dark hair um sort of pinned up into a bonnet looks like uh, she looks like she's wearing just wearing uh comfortable clothing uh jeans a t-shirt uh a uh cloth jacket with a lot of pockets uh much like charles is wearing now um but uh you know she looks good she looks fit and she looks uh she looks like she could probably, well, before, she could probably still fight Majin, still fight Charles, and still have a, uh, a decent fight. Um, Majin, Charles, you guys would both know that, you know, upon leaving uh, with Artemis, she became a scion. Uh, not all scions are born, some are chosen. Uh, she worked her way up the ladder, in a sense, of Artemis's hunting party. And became a chosen sign of Artemis. Nice. What would you guys like to do? Show her now. I want to whistle from a eagle to steal her pastry. <laughs> <laughs> she is uh, sitting uh, in one of the one of the. Uh, the small uh, tables and chairs. Uh, you whistle for the eagle. Um, it's taken a little bit more uh, in the past to to have this eagle listen to your commands. A single whistle, no no pointing, no signal toward the uh, the target, but a single whistle. 
And now the eagle obeys. Swoops down. Steals the pastry. She... Quick reflexes. She uh, goes to grab it, barely missing the talon of the of this, of this eagle. Um, you know, reaches for something in her pocket and then notices you guys and just... That's new. I am now eating the pastry. <clears throat> Enjoying this uh, this sort of uh, chocolate-filled croissant. You're paying for that. Or you're buying a new one. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't tell me you're still broke. Broke? I'm rich in yeah. life. <laughs> oh, rich in life. Yeah, no, we have a couple hunters that say the same thing. It's good to see Rich you. Experience. She gives you a hug, Majin. Same. Charles, you're looking scruffy as ever. That's also new. She points to the cloud. Yeah, we're, like he said, we're rich in experience now. I don't know how to respond to that. Um, are you still eating? Don't. Don't justify him. <laughs> I'll do my best. Uh, Hi, I'm Jessica. It's good to meet you. Nice to see you again, Jessica. I'm sorry. I don't want to be rude. Have we met? What do you mean? This is, this is Gregor. We all went to the same orphanage. Like he was there yeah. when you left. Firstly, don't say it like that, as if it was like you know a school when we had same <laughs> classes together. Don't say we had we all went to the same orphanage. That's I mean, so it was weird. a schoolhouse, too. Yeah. It's not... Uh, we've, we haven't have met. Well, did you, you come in? Remember. Did you come after right I left? Here. No. He used to get his ass kicked all the time. You know? I, we would jump in and... I, I didn't get my ass kicked. Hey, come on, you got picked on because you wanted to be a cop, you know? Not untrue. Jessica's face is blank. Sorry, what? I don't. Maybe, maybe it was after I left. No, I definitely those? remember you. Look, let's let's get out of the out of the crosswalk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she sits down at her ta at her little table. Uh, the food inside again. You owe me a pastry. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. It's My very pretty hard to be ashamed if something happened to it. Oh, hey, 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 my uh, my pal here, uh, Luke. You know he's a he's a good friend, good companion. Hmm. Is, is that his name now? All right, I'll, I'll buy you a pastry. I'll, I'll yeah, my pastry, pastry was a good friend. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, so what have you guys been up to? And, and I, there's like a sort of unsettled, sort of glance over at you, Gregor. I'm not going to say anything, but I don't know if I should be offended that I was that forgettable. Okay, I was under the impression we were at least really good friends on yeah. good, yeah, on good terms. But like, apparently, my face is the most forgettable thing ever. So, wow, I didn't know this would hurt this much. Yeah, it's just one of those. I don't. I'm not. Oh. I don't know. I don't have words, or I have words, but I'm not going to say them. Um, you, did you guys yeah, go ahead and grab coffee or, or pastries or whatever? I'll I'll be out here if you guys want to catch up. I have no money for that. Like I'm gonna be straight with you. God, how do you live? He on my couch. Yeah, I got on other dogs. people's goodwill. Uh, poisonous peaches. What? Yeah, let's not really rehash that one. Uh, that's a lot to unload. Um, notably, 
Um, should be pointed out, you know, you guys came in contact with her. Charles, the smell of ink and paper, you know, permeates your nose. You, you're starting to recognize this as a sense of sensing scions. Majin. A new scion, uh, to you smells a bit different. Um, it smells like, almost like a, this particular scion smells a bit like a battlefield. Well, I'm gonna go order everybody some coffee and, you know... A little baker's dozen, I guess. You know? Okay. You know what? I'm going to go help Majin uh, carry the baker's dozen. Oh, this is, this, this is going to be awkward. I'll be right back. Bye. You guys do this. Um, and indeed, is it a little bit awkward as Gregor, if you're sitting there, with this person who claims not to remember you. Yeah, I'm going to keep being like, are, are you sure you were there when X happened? You were there when Y happened? You saved me from Kenny. I, Once. I, I remember Kenny. Am I that forgettable? No, I don't think you're that forgettable. I just, I've never met you before. I'm going to list off some things that some some of the uh, things she did. Let's see if that helps. She remembers the these deeds that you, that you recall from her from her life or the things that she has done. But every time you talk about, you know, I was there claims you weren't um, if you bring up an event that, you know, I directly intervened in this, it was someone else. It was always either Kenny or, or David or, you know, or Jonathan in your stead, in your place. Oh, I, those... Have you been near the ocean recently? I mean, obviously, island, but... Yeah, no, um... You know, we tend to stick to the forest and such. Landlocked. I, the place I, I was in fucking Arkansas before this. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Majin and Charles, you guys return with uh, the baker's dozen. Y'all remember each other yet? No, she doesn't seem to remember me at all. Because oh, he wasn't terrible. fucking there. I mean, I don't, again, I don't want to be rude, but. He, I mean, I wasn't fucking, like, you guys, mu he must have come in after I left. I don't. I mean, maybe. There have been I guess. some weird. There have been some. No? But there have been some other weird things happening around us. Like what happened to Madame Jasmine. I don't know who that is. It's a very close friend of mine. Um, have you seen any Egyptian iconography recently? Any um, sea iconography? Those are two very different things. <laughs> That's the iconography of what that's the closest I have to uh, what happened to her and me. No, I, 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 I haven't been. I haven't seen any Egyptian iconography or, or, or sea life iconography. I don't. I'm not crazy. Like the, 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 he, I don't he think must you're crazy. Been... I, I don't think you're crazy. I think, I think somebody's messing with you. I, 
this is weird. Um, also, it sounds like, uh, it's, it's, well, I don't know about you guys, but uh, it sounds like you guys have some stuff to talk about. She points to the cloud, to your bird, Majin. Oh, I, I found him in New Mexico. No, 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 no. Like, you yeah, guys... Yeah, I found the cloud beer in New York. You guys... Wow. Um, <laughs> you guys smell different. You guys smell like, you know, divinity. That's kind of cool. What? That's new. Is that what that smells like? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering. It kind of smelled like a... Like a battleground or something. You been fighting lately really? or something? Was it like sweat and, and meat? I mean, I guess it's just like a battlefield, you know. Yeah, like, I've heard, I've heard that. Like, you know, if, if, for me, it's different. It could, it's different for a lot of people. You know, you kind of get a sense of like smell, sniffing out scions. That's fascinating. Well, yeah, I guess the cats are out of the bag. We're scions. Yeah, no shit. You can't exactly just like, show up on a cloud and be like, "Oh, it's a secret." Like that's not, that's not how that works. It's not subtle. At all. What? Have I ever Charles, been Charles subtle? Is a master of subtlety. See, that's how I know you're fucking new. Because I'm sarcastic? See, I don't know if that was... I didn't know if that was sarcasm. That's... It doesn't matter. So, details. It's been a minute. What the fuck is all that about? Oh, yeah. My dad's son, Wukong. Doesn't that mean your mom? That's yeah. what I said. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot to unload. I still haven't processed it yet. You should probably do that. Mm. Or you could don't have time it forever. For like, we have a like journey to the west. We have a journey to the west. Um, we're going to unpack that in a second. What about you, man? Oh, I, I just got my ass beat until I started bleeding gold. That is oh. not ideal. Yeah, yeah, some jackass. Uh, what was his name? Ewan? Yeah, Ted Ewan. Ted? Yeah, Teddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he was kind of a jackass. Um, I don't know who that is either. Uh, but, like, who's your dad? Poor mom. Ah, uh, the con. Yeah. That's... That's, like, that doesn't narrow it down. I mean, there's no. I mean, it makes sense. Only the con, like, yeah, he's the con. Yeah. Okay. And that's cool. Yeah, he came in with a bunch of horses, and my, my mom could beat both your dad's asses, but you know. Man. Oh no! Here it starts. He has if two challenges so. lined up already. Uh, all right. Well, my dad I'll... said he could beat the brakes <laughs> off the great con. I imagine he that goes for Artemis as well. Yeah, I've, no offense, but Sun Wukong is a little bit, uh, you know, refinement is not his, is not his forte. You know, he's, he's beating dragons and shit. Plus, I mean, monkey against a huntress. Hmm. I feel like it's pretty easy to hunt a monkey. If you say so. You know, I honestly don't know where that would go. I don't know the, their uh, relative what powers. What if we just settle it between us? We could all just have a fight, and then whoever wins is the mm -hmm. winner of this debate. Charles, when did the, when did you when did you learn that Sun Wukong was your dad? Yesterday. I've been doing this a little bit longer. I would beat the fucking brakes off of you. Since then, I've already fought a hero. So I'm like. I don't even. You won too. Oh, that's. Yes, we did win. Ah, there it is. The big we. Yeah. Yeah. And so you're. Are you just. Like. Friends or like who. Are you a. You don't smell divine. They just yeah, had we're all their, friends. Yeah, 
They just had their visitations, and I've become Tripitaka. Hmm. I don't know what that means. It's uh the He's the monk. Buddhist. Yeah, it's the Buddhist monk in Journey to the West. So now he's got to move me to the west. Yeah, yeah, he has to live in California now. <laughs> That's dog shit. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm... Technically, all I have to do is live there for... He didn't specify a time period, so I could argue, hey, I spent the night in California. I mean, I didn't... What about you, though? What about me? I mean, I... I travel um you know doing the hunting thing um what brings you to new york it's kind of like a vacation you know we have stuff to do up in canada and you know this is a kind of a pit stop yeah i was figuring maybe uh yeah i was hunting uh what's that that, that thing on the news last week fin rear yeah yeah I don't know. oh you guys maybe haven't heard know. actually you should definitely have heard by now uh, she looks to you, Charles. You guys haven't heard about about that yet. No. Nah. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't Fenrir. Um. It, it was actually that? all kind of makes sense now. Um. Seems like Sun Wukong has been visiting without sending an incarnation down or an avatar down. He's just been. Popping up here. And he decided to gallivant across Georgia. Oh, as a... Yeah, he's a shape changer. Your dad's an asshole. That's funny. <laughs> it's not funny. A lot of people are freaking out. That's, that's so funny. It's not. It's really not. Yeah, it really is. Like, that is hilarious. It's causing just, nationwide panic. The wait, the ICER are the ICER are oh are God. freaking out, having a small heart that. attack. That sounds like so much fun. I'm gonna be a cryptid. This is gonna be Muted. great. That's not the takeaway from this. That's not. That's that's not what you're supposed to know. <laughs> you you that's irresponsible as fuck. You shouldn't have told him oh. that. Now that's his goal. He's going to Caliban across all of America as Fenrir. Hey, remember that time that Sasquatch wasn't real? Yeah, that was cool. Oh, my God. I... This is gonna be great. You know your dad got in a lot of trouble, right? Like, like throughout his life. That sounds like so much fun. And Peach doesn't like, fall far from the tree. Himself, what would be the better story? Like, you just have to do things because they're interesting every now and then. I wholeheartedly disagree with you, Charles. To a certain extent. On more than one occasion, I have had to f have to save you from star from near starvation. Because yeah, you thought it would be a better problem. story to spend, new to spend your winter in Central Park. I had to earn the dog's respect, and they never would have respected me if I didn't stay there and stick it out with them. I, I, I feel like you could have, you know, moved the dogs into shelter, and they probably would have respected and loved you. Are you beating the shit out of wild oh. animals, Charles? Don't you do that for a living? No, I don't <laughs> beat the shit out of wild animals. I tame them, or I kill and hunt and eat them. Well, that's what I was doing. I was taming them. That's such horseshit. That's see now. No, you're gonna be a fucking menace. <laughs> it's not gonna be that bad. It's just gonna be fun. How many others like scions of Sun Wukong do you know? None. See, that means it never gets that far out of hand. I feel like because they end up dead. or your fa or your father's. Shadow was so it slooms so much over them that nobody talks about their crazy deeds. That too, or they end up dead. I don't know. It, it would be hard not to talk about the leopard thing if you saw it. I don't know. I don't really talk about the leopard thing. So how long are you staying in? Uh, staying here? 
I'm here for a few days, uh, and then we got to make our way up to to Canada. Mm-hmm. Listen, Canada. Well, I guess I can tell you now. So Fenrir isn't free, uh, but you know, Jotun. The Icer have asked, uh, you know, again because Fenrir, quote unquote, was spotted over Georgia. They're cracking down on a lot of the uh, the enemies of the Icer. So there's frost giants up north, and you know now we are uh, we're gonna go commit uh, genocide. That sounds illegal. It's super not okay, uh, but. You know, it's the job. That's fair. All of this because my pops went troughsing through Georgia. Yeah, don't do that shit. The Monkey King went down to Georgia. (laughs) Someone should write a song about this. (laughs) I don't even... Should have challenged him to a fiddle match. How's everything else been, though? (laughs) I mean, good for the most part. Gregory got kicked out of his apartment. Got to live in California. See Scion visits, I guess. Visitations. Prior to that, I was just traveling, riding around. Right on. Yeah, I get that. You guys take this moment and you guys uh, will catch up with Jessica. Um, course there's the moments of like how do you not like hold on i'm sorry i don't mean to interrupt your story but how do you not fucking remember me you know there's of course the uh the catching up and then the the re-meeting of gregor uh it's very strange if there's anything you guys want to uh ask or um anything of note you guys want to really actually get out there by all means now's the time if not we'll kind of speed through this no uh, I would only ask if she knew how I could find other scions of Sun Wukong. I would ask your dad. Um, maybe the other Shen. The Shen, uh, they kind of keep a, you know, they're, they're list people. They keep the, uh, the they keep a record of every, almost everything. And you've got a cloud. You can literally just go pop in. Don't, okay, don't do that. Never mind. That's a bad idea. <laughs> she shouldn't have said anything. Honestly, feel like I wouldn't make it there in any kind of timely manner. So, yeah, it's kind of a good thing for a good thing, I think. Um, you, know, you can ask and then you know contact the Shen and see if you can get like it's going to be procedured without a doubt, but they'll get you maybe a list or something. Okay, yeah. I'd ask her about, you know, her great hunt stuff and see what's that about. And, you know, yeah, uh, she explains to you that a lot of it is uh, hunting titans and titan spawn. Um, it's not all just, you know, animals and beasts and such. The majority of uh, what the work that she does is hunting titan spawn. And uh, if they are in hiding, she goes, she leads a hunting band to to go find them, uproot them and find them and then kill them. Is it like a competition? It can be. I keep tally. Can I go the next time you, you have one? Yeah, we'll hit you up. All right. Nice. I mean, you guys are going to California. There's a lot of problems in California, so no doubt you'll find some on your way. What's your tally so far? Seven. Seven? Yeah, total. Oh, so, that seems easy enough. Yeah, so uh, two titans and then the rest have been titan spawn. Alright. You're, you're, you're saying, you're, you're nodding like it's not a big deal. It's a big fucking deal. Fuck you guys. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Now I know what number no, it's No, it's We get it. You've been at this for a while. I mean, it's not our fault we're better at it than you already, but... You haven't done jack shit. You woke up yesterday. How long have you been a scion? 
a few years. Yeah, in our first day, we we beat Sion. Who? Oh, who congratulations! Sion you broke the law on your first day. I'm so proud of you. Uh, he didn't break the law. He technically law it was first. an assault. He assaulted them. Yeah, we defended ourselves. I feel but... like why do I? Well, feel I like... the door. There it is. There it is. And he complied. You can't prove that in court. Fair. I... Be be responsible. Just just in this moment, Gregor kind of over to Charles. Just be responsible. Someone promise me that, please. I, oh, I, I can't. And I cannot, in good conscience, promise you that I will be responsible. I mean, yeah. There's, yeah. Like, you guys may not. You guys, you guys know that, like, just because, like, the mortals can't handle you now at this point doesn't mean, like, other scions aren't gonna hunt you like fucking dogs, you know that, right? Yeah. Like if you step out of line or if that's you. That's the challenge of it. No, that's not the challenge of it. You will be that's murdered if you cause problems. Is that what you're doing right now? Did you just hunt us down because we beat Ted Ewan's ass? No, I'm not here for that. I, Like I said, okay. I'm on a pit stop, but if I need to be called in to, to rein in a bunch of, you know, unruly. You know, if I can, a scion of, of of a monkey, and the great Khan and their pet human, like I'm, I'm gonna be pretty upset. <laughs> did did you, did you just call Gregor a pet? Don't get him in trouble. <laughs> Look, we won't start no problems. Sure, we'll fucking finish them though. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll be in town for a couple. You know what? We don't give no shit, but we sure as hell ain't taking no shit. I just, I, uh, I'll be in town for a couple more days. Um, if you guys want to hang out again, I gotta go talk to some of the other girls and get a plan of attack going. Please be safe. You introduce, introduce us. I, uh, not to you. You fucking. Could you apologize to that one whose tent I woke up in? She doesn't have, like, hmm. Yeah, no, it's best you guys don't talk to them. Look, I'm just saying there's a bar. We can meet up. Hit us up, you know, girls' night, boys' night. I will meet you at the bar. Absolutely. Bring some friends. What about, oh, my God. They, you know, stop trying to fuck my friends. I mean, nobody went that direction. I just said bring some. Don't friends. bullshit me. Bring your friends. We got my friends. We can all be friends, right? No Let's one's gonna, and plus, no one's gonna want to fuck the monkey. Somebody did. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. She gets up, gonna gives you guys all a hug. Uh, Gregor, she pauses at you and then goes in for a hug. And she's like, it's yeah, just great to meet just, you. Good to see you again. And she departs. That was weird. Yeah, it was. I wonder what's happening there. First, Madam ja First Jasmine, now. Her. I mean, it could just be, you know, her whole Scion thing, the way they. If she remembered you too. Yeah, I mean, true. And I've been having the. And I had that vision. Then I asked Jasmine to look into it. She got hurt. I'm the one who, who appears to have been wiped from her mind. There's something there. I just don't know where to look. Where else could... Jasmine didn't have any clues. That book didn't have any specifics. I got some, uh... 
I know a couple of, like conspiracy cats. They're they deep dive into random shit. Maybe I could hit somebody up on that line. I don't know. Please do. There is uh, a, a gentleman that walks up to you guys' table. Um, he's in a large overcoat, um, matted, tousled brown hair. Um, Gregor, you recognize him from a, about a day ago. Uh, this individual uh, is a homeless satyr. He holds out a cup to you guys. Spare change, gentlemen. Same standard five quarters. I'll give him five. whatever I have. I keep five quarters in every pocket, so I so I can be like my pocket's empty. Charles, you say you give him whatever you have. Do you give yep. him your do you give him a donut? You give him a donut. Uh, you reach into your your pockets. You have a bit of pocket lint. Some, to your surprise, you have some change and a couple loose dollar bills. Cool. Yeah, you can have those. You, fucking, you, you lied. I paid for all this shit, and you have money to pay. To be fair, it was like <laughs> two crinkled dollar pills. I'll give him that gold tooth that I pulled out. Thank you, gentlemen. Doesn't seem to flinch from it. Just... May the gods shine their light on you. Bless you. Bless you too. You want some donuts? Holds up the donut you gave him. Toddles on. Do you want the rest? No? Okay. Bye. Got a dozen of y'all fucking ate one. He's... I've seen that Seder before. Not too long ago. I mean, what? He, he's homeless or something? I mean... He, yeah, he, he's... Yeah, I saw him on my way to... Fine, Chuck. I'm just weird. I don't know. I'm probably getting paranoid because of all this. I'm almost certainly getting paranoid because of all this. It's a it's a. Go tackle the satyr. What do you know? No, well, actually, I, I know. Right no, actually, hey, hey, you. Kind of turns. No. Are you have have I seen you before? I see a lot of people, sir. Yeah. Um. Question. No, never mind. It, it, I'm sure it's nothing. Ask him the fucking question. You called him back. Ask him. Question. Question. Are you one of those? Uh, are you one of? Is are you one of those trick beggars? I don't know what that means, sir. You know, you know, the beggars where you get you give them something, and they're just testing your moral compass. Usually, some usually some lesser god does it. Because you've run into me twice within 48 hours. Do I look like divinity to you? Looks like cloven hooves. Yes. Dude, I'm starving. And come Does over it here. Does smell like divinity? No. Well then, well then, come on, come on over here. Have some to eat at least, properly, not just a single donut if you're starving. Kind of sheepishly comes him over more. and. Doesn't take a seat, uh, takes a couple more donuts and kind of takes a half step away. And you get the sense that this kind of makes him a little bit uncomfortable. Okay. Sorry, there's just been some weird stuff going on lately and I was yeah. worried. Welcome to New York, well, bud. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Have a wonderful day. You too. <clears throat> Um, anyone can make a roll, uh, as the strangeness of the situation has been brought up, uh, of, uh, culture and any of your, uh, mental, your mental, uh, attributes, intellect, cunning, or resolve. 
I'll do power for intellect. Two. Zero success. Two. Little crap. Three successes. You say three successes? Yeah. Excellent. Um, three and a two. Uh, Charles, you don't have a... Uh, Uh-oh. You guys still got me? You all got me? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, apparently we're frozen on the screen. Yeah, you guys froze for me um, for a second. So, the right. C. There you go, everybody. We're good. Um, oh, I guess, uh, never mind. I was going to say Drew became story guide for a moment there. <coughs> Uh, how's our audio, everyone who's watching? Okay, cool, 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 cool. We're golden. Um, so with a two and a three, with Gregor and Maj and Charles, you're kind of not too interested in the situation. Uh, but with a two and a three, Gregor and Majin, Seder's, uh, I mean, it's very, very strange for them to be homeless. Seder's, if he didn't, want to live in New York, he could just go to, like, literally where any other Seder, out, not outpost, but Seder commune is. You know, they're natural creatures, so even the fact that he's in New York is strange. The fact that he's staying in New York while he's homeless and doesn't have, like, a house or a place to be, it's very fucking weird. So you made it all the way away? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, thinking about it, it's kind of fucking weird he's here. Yeah. Yeah, in, it is. is it? In addition, um, you guys did notice, you know, this being brought up that it's strange. He came to your guys' table, asked for change, and then left. Didn't ask anyone else that was sitting out. Didn't ask anyone on that was walking on the street. Just started to walk away. Gregor, you cast your mind back. He did the same thing when you first encountered him. Just just get up. I'm going to start walking after him. Nah, I called his off again. I called I called his bluff and then he refuted and I didn't press. So, Gregor's going after him. Maj and Charles, what are you guys up to? Man, I guess I'm gonna grab my coffee and as many donuts as I can carry and fucking go after him. Just grab the box of donuts. You don't need to wear them like rings. Oh, so, no, no rings. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell him, follow him. <laughs> you guys begin to follow this individual. Uh, are you trying to stop him, Gregor, or are you just tailing him? I'm a. T- Mm. Mm. It's one of those things where, like, mm. I make a roll. Because on one hand, I want to stop him, ask him what the fuck's going on. On the other hand, might get more information of a tale. Might leave me something else. Mm. I'll say as well, uh, Majin and Charles, you guys can try to stop Gregor if he's going to go approach the individual. If you feel that it would be uh, not conducive. Yeah, I'm going to tail him. Okay. The dice have decided tailing him was the better option. Stupid dice. Always making bad decisions. Excellent. So you guys tail him. Um, and, you know, you watch him for a while. He doesn't stop and ask anybody for change. He, in fact, he, you know, eats the donuts that were given to him as he walks. 
takes the money that Charles gave him, pockets it, um, walks for a time. In fact, he goes past another uh, individual who's sitting on the on the sidewalk, begging for change. He reaches into his pocket, pulls out the same money that Charles had, Charles and y'all had given him, drops it in the man's cup, and continues on. I'm very curious, but I want to see where he goes. I get the feeling he's got a destination in mind if he's walking with any purpose at all. Indeed, he does look as if he is walking with purpose. You guys travel tailing this individual. He rounds, his, he rounds corners. Eventually he comes to a back alley. He goes through the alleyway. A back room of some apartment building or some shop. Comes to the door. And you guys position yourselves. In, not exactly in the alleyway, but you know, standing on the sidewalk. Peeking back into the alley, watching him, he looks, he checks, and he knocks. There's a moment where he waits, and then he is allowed inside. What would you guys like uh, to do? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Go up Probably to the go door. knocking the door. Yes. I have the perfect knock to get into any area. Do Actually, not break the door there. down. Yeah. The shave and a haircut knock. You do this, you know. There's a slide that opens in the door. Who the fuck are you? I'm a new security guy. I'm supposed to come for training. Yeah, we don't have security, but nice try. Yeah, cool. Uh, looking for my friend, Sater. Hold on. Slide closes. Door opens. He told me to hold on. Just a crack. This satyr kind of worms his way out in the, between the crack of the door and says, Same satyr. Uh, what can I do for you? Yeah, my buddy has some questions for you. Yeah, but it, that's all well and good, but if I haven't done anything illegal and you don't look like a cop, I'm going to go ahead and back into my shelter now, all right? Gregor, do you have anything or? Yes, actually. See, I've see. You haven't done any. You haven't done anything illegal, and yeah, you haven't, as far as I know. However, I need to know something personally. One, you've come. You've begged me. For, begged me for change twice. You don't beg other people for change, so obviously you're targeting me for something. What is it? I didn't start seeing the weird stuff till after I met you the first time, so what's going on? Look, friend, I don't... I don't know what you mean. Uh, and like I said, you and your friend don't look like cops, so... Tailing me, I mean... That's a legal it's issue in and of itself. Um, perfectly legal. I'm a PI. Like I said, I don't think I did anything wrong. Um... I'm gonna go ahead back inside my shelter now. No, uh, you're gonna give me an answer. What? Why are you? Why did you approach me? Why have you been approaching me? I needed money. Approach everybody. Really? Then why? Then why did you give away the money that was given to you? I don't know what you're talking about. While we were tailing you, right, 
right now. You gave the money that was given to you to another homeless man. If you needed money, you wouldn't have done that. Yeah, I don't have to answer these questions. I'm going to head back inside. And he goes to reach for the door and starts knocking on the door. Charles. What? I think he has every right to decide to go back inside, man. I don't believe you. Something strange is happening. Who are you? What's your name? I don't have to fucking tell you that. He knocks on the door again. I'm a little bit more feverishly this time. What's in there? None of your fucking business. I'm serious, too. What is in there? None of your guys' business. It's a place where I can relax and sit. You made it my business when you started targeting me for something. I didn't target you for shit, man. I just needed some cash. Open the fucking door. He starts knocking. I don't believe you. Because if you did need the cash, you would, your actions are contradictory to what to what you say. I'm stepping closer at this point. Who are you? I didn't fucking do anything Are you the wrong. one? Are you the ones put doing the visions? Why don't you take a step back, friend? Did you hurt my friend? I don't know who your friends are. Not these two. That nice, that nice lady who was just uh, looking into something for me, and uh, you strangled her, didn't you? I don't know who that is, and I don't know what you're talking about. Gregor, uh, Charles, and Majin, if you um, would all like to determine how truthful that statement is or how, if there's a tell, go ahead and give me uh, empathy, I think is the most appropriate skill. Um, empathy or integrity. And then uh, either something from your physical or social, whatever whatever approach you guys want to go with. Yeah, I'm going to do a... integrity and I guess manipulation would make sense to me. So I'm not... Well, I can see that. You're, well, yeah. you know, you're manipulating him to, to back him into Get a him corner to socially. Yeah. 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 Anyone else making a roll? Kindly let me know what you're doing. Yeah, manipulation. Empathy or integrity? Yeah, I'll do integrity and presence. That's all right. Empathy. It's fine. Empathy and manipulation. I got one success. Understood. Two successes. Uh, five successes. She says it's five successes. Uh, I will say as well, you guys have momentum in your pool. You guys are up to three momentum now, and I keep forgetting to bring that up. Uh, momentum is a shared pool uh, of resource you guys can use to add uh, enhancement uh, to your guys' roles. Um, it must all be agreed upon. Um, uh, you guys will gain momentum on complete and utter botches and failures. Um and in some regular just cases, like, for example, Charles, you got a one. It wasn't enough to get get this. Uh, so I'll grant you guys a momentum, the, the, the party a momentum. Um, again, you guys are up to three. Uh, but with one of you having succeeded, there's no really need to to, uh, to spend momentum. Gregor, uh, with five, that's not entirely true. And you can tell he's avoiding eye contact. He's knocking on the door a bit more feverishly. Now, you brought this up, and he's he's closed himself off more that's definitely he know he either did something or know something that's associated with your friend what do you know about her what happened i don't know what the fuck you're talking about you're lying it's written all over your face you're a terrible liar you know that he starts to knock a little bit more oh yeah you see that frantic knocking that you're doing that's only telling me more i take another step closer he pulls you're... a dagger from his side. Back the fuck away from me. You already said you weren't. You hadn't done anything illegal. You're gonna really do something illegal now. Yeah, and I'm in duress. Get the fuck away from me. I'm not gonna step back. Okay. Okay. Hands up. Hands up. Okay. Fine. Fine. 
I'm not gonna step back, but I am gonna do this. Can I... Is there anything interesting about the fact that it's a fucking dagger? Yeah, not it's a, it's not, not a pocket. A pocket and notably, dagger was a, a, a specific yeah. word choice. Um, yeah. Not a not a knife, not a pocket knife, not a switchblade, a dagger. Uh, it looks etched. It looks the blade is, itself is curved. Uh, one um, one uh, uh, one of the sides is, is sharpened. The other is not. It looks ceremonial. You're really gonna spill spill blood with that nice with that pretty ceremonial knife? Get it the fuck away from me. If I have to, absolutely. I'm not sure you will. Can I try to disarm him as they're talking? Absolutely. Uh, if you'd like to make this into a physical uh, physical uh, confrontation, by all means. Um, I'm thinking close combat uh, and uh, whatever physical... Skill for whatever approach you want to go to. Power, finesse, resistance. Yeah, finesse. So dexterity and close combat, please. Four successes. Four successes. You disarm him. Um, notably, you you go to do this, and he doesn't turn the blade on you guys. Um, you go to to uh, to take the knife from him, and he twists it in a way where he, as if he's going to stab himself, as if he is going to take his own life rather than fight back. But you disarm him. You keep the dagger away. You can choose to have it in your hands. You can choose to, you know, have it just drop to the floor. It's up to you. Four successes. Yeah, I'll keep hold of it. He starts shouting in tongues in a language that doesn't seem like a language. Looking toward the door as if he is shouting commands. Charles, cover his mouth. God damn it. I'll cover his mouth. You were behind him as far as I could, as far as I visioned it, because he slinked out the door and I came in. Would, would a chokehold work? Like I mean a chokehold you Majin has him in a in a sort of grapple. He's disarmed him. Uh you can chokehold him or you know I imagine you just shove a donut down his face. Just throw a donut in his mouth and then... Yeah, just chocolate eclair. Yeah, I'm down for stuffing his mouth with a donut. You do this, um, there's noise coming from inside, from beyond the door, uh, from where he was trying to get into. It doesn't seem to be like a great beast, you know, readying itself and about to emerge. It just sounds like people moving frantically. So, assuming that little slider doesn't have a lock or a piece of glass over it hmm. just you press and force it open essentially with friction and and such um you guys have the seder in a lock um gregor you peer in it is a single room dark lit only by candles a circle in the center men in robes oh, are just in dark robes. One of them was reading from a book. He's, they're gathering their things up, blowing candles out, trying to gather up as much as they can. It's Charles. You mind doing that thing you did before? With this door? 
You know, I don't mind giving that a shot. Try and break down the door. You do this. It's pretty easy. Uh, it's uh, it's not exactly steel reinforced. This is not a, uh, a a fortress, but you break down this door pretty easy. The satyr just screams out, "No!" I I'm a pull out my gun and I'm gonna walk in. Everybody, stop! What the fuck's going on here? There's a moment of pause that everyone kind of just stops. You can see that they were uh, going down a hatch into the sewer systems of New York. Individual really? with, the, with the book, dark robe. He says, "You can't break in. And this is breaking and entering, and you can't impose on our religious freedoms." Yeah, I can if you're ta if you're tar if you're targeting me for some sort of mysterious occult reasons. Nothing mysterious here, friend. Just worship group. Who are you worshiping? Not inclined to say. Don't really? give us that BS, man. Dude over here is about to kill himself. Who are you worshiping? Can I take a look, a glance at the dagger? See if I have any inclination which Pantheon might want an ornamental dagger like that? Is, is it overly uh, like you know they're the obvious signs culture, of the pantheons? Go ahead and give me culture and uh, whatever approach for your mental attributes. Uh, power for mental. I need to become more cultured. Uh, cool. One. One success. One success. You have no idea. So when he says. Teotl. Teotl Pantheon. Doesn't All right. exactly Which God? ring true um, to you, but you know, you don't, you're not, ins and outs of Teotl Pantheon is not your forte. Yeah. None of your fucking business. We're, again, we're just here. Why don't you put the gun down? We'll talk this no. like civilized people. I am talking like a civilized person. However, your boy put a knife on me, pulled a knife on me, and I'm fairly certain that, and I didn't start getting accosted until after he first showed up. So I want to know what happened, because a friend of mine is in the hospital, and frankly, I have very little patience for people who hurt friends of mine. Didn't hurt anybody. Really? Your boy seemed rather skittish when I accused him of it. You want to commit a murder here, then that's on you. He's not going to do fucking anything, boys. Let's get going. They start to move again. That's fair. That's fair. That is fair. I'm not going to kill anybody. However. However. I can't. I do have some pool. Do you think this building is up to code? I don't know what can be locked down. They're not Very stopping. Few... Oh, okay, fun. All right. I'll let them. I'll let them go. We have one of their guys. If any of them walk towards me, though, even if it's just to get something that's next to my feet. They're notably going... keeping a, uh, away from the door where you guys have uh, stormed in. Uh, and I'm going to start walking around. <laughs> right on. Um, they're gathering stuff up. Uh, books and, and uh, not exactly pamphlets, but little scr uh, papers and such. Um, there's candles and strange uh, symbols and uh, geometric patterns and shapes. Um there's a tapestry on the wall that was torn. It looks like someone has uh, tried to hastily take it down. There's a about a corner of it. The bottom right corner of it is still uh, pinned to the wall. Imagine. Mind doing me a favor? What the fuck you got me? 
Margin. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Mind doing me a favor? Yeah, sure. What? What's up? He's right. I'm not going to kill anybody. Mind getting that book from him? I guess. You going to hand over the book or... No? Go fuck yourself. He starts to pack the more stuff up uh, with his allies, handing it off to them. They're, they're, the, he looks very confident. The rest of them are just kind of like, what the fuck is going on? And they are piling into the sewer. What's up? Can I do like a Superman punch on that dude? You want to just start just flying haymaker, he said? <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, shit. Close combat, I'm assuming power, power approach. Yeah, I'm going for my close combat might please. He's gonna try to dodge out of the way. You have five material success. <laughs> <coughs> and very quickly that dude goes just crumbles. Charles, you don't know if he's dead or not. I'm a I'm a walk over. Yeah, you know, see if he's still got a pulse. Still got a pulse. He's bleeding from his fucking dome piece. I look at all. What? Did that call? Did that call? Did that cause all the all the other guys to stop? They have stopped. Uh, and the blood that is pooling on the floor now. They are aghast, horrified. I'm gonna reach down. I'm gonna pick up the book. You do this, all of you guys can see as Gregor reaches down, picks up the book. The blood is moving, not pooling, is now snaking its way toward the center of what looks like a drawn circle and chalk. The candles begin to light once more, all on their own. Gregor, you are no longer here. Fuck. Majin, Charles, you see Gregor is gone the moment he touches the book. Majin and Charles, you see the blood begin to pool where Gregor was, drifting toward the center, almost as if it is pulling him. The essence of where he was. It's not exactly footsteps of blood. You can see it begin to build as if it is piling up like ants trying to reach a leaf on, the, on a branch. Begins this mass of blood. Injury should not be bleeding that much. Head injuries bleed a lot. This is as if it is being sucked away. He is being dried up. This mound of blood moves toward the center. Gregor. You are in the great desert. The shifting sands make it difficult to stand. You find yourself moving just by trying to stay standing. You find yourself moving, shifting to the left. Uh, do I, do I have the book? You have the book. Alright, I am... Put the gun back in my pocket. Not letting go of this book, because... Might have just killed the man to get this book. Not about to lose any progress. Understood. I guess I'm trying to stay standing and moving slightly left. Torrented and buffeted by the winds of this desert. You try to stay stationary. The book eventually just drops out of your hands. It opens. You can see the pages are glossy, almost mirror-like. And they reflect the cosmos itself. You can see the constellations and stars staring, blinking back at you. The pages are almost mirror-like. So glossy and so reflective that you see a, almost a reflection of yourself in this shadow. This shadow man mimics all of your movements, much like a mirror. Until it reaches out of the page towards you. It grips onto your ankle. 
It pulls. It tightens its grip. You can hear laughter. Yep, no, yep, nope. Just bullets. Unloading? Just Not unloading. I saved the last one for me. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you I've got a six-shooter. I've got five shots. This uh, individual is made of darkness and shadow. It is crawling out of the book, not letting you go. You unload the shots. Every gunshot makes impact. You don't see a face. It is just a mass of shadow and black ichor. The laughter, though, is haunting, piercing your eardrums. It is assaulting your mind. Every shrill laugh is an injury. As it laughs and pulls up, it has knocked you over at this point. You save the last gunshot for yourself. What do you do? Uh, well, when it started laughing and it started hurting, I probably would have deafened myself by a sticking finger. Understood. All the way up. Because obviously this is a but this is a I'm going to die if I don't do, do things and whatever this is, I don't want to I need to survive at this point. Um you uh you deafen yourself. It is this this being is crawling atop you now. You have fallen back and it is pinning you to the ground, this horrible figure. You stare into darkness, you stare into a face that should be there but isn't. It's laughter. You can almost see the smile from ear to ear, literal ear to ear, the terrible grin and the teeth. Just last words. What the fuck? It begins almost like it vomits. That darkness begins to drip down where the mouth should be onto your face. The body begins to fade and drip, no longer holding its form onto you. Yeah. yeah. It, last round used. It's laughter as you use the last round is unmistakable. You fire. A bullet that should enter your temple. You see the figure, the, the mass, where its head is. <laughs> explodes outward as if you had fired into its temple. It is melding with you. You guys. Outside of this nightmare. All I've seen Gregor disappear. What would you like to do? Well, where'd my friend go, guys? The cultists, again, are just staring at the blood, terrified. Yeah, no answer. I'm knocking people out. You start knocking I'm people out? I'm just punching people until, until they start answering. He has been nope. chosen. It's time. Time for what? What are you talking about? One of the people reaches up and breaks their neck. All of them begin to follow suit in various ways. He'll stop them. <laughs> Absolutely, you can try. <laughs> that's some, I have to say, that's some serious commitment. That's a really hard way to kill yourself. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck you do that? <laughs> Others are, of course, reaching for blades. Others have a firearm or two hidden. Um, you guys will save a few, but you can't save everyone. Save who we can, I guess. Yeah. Um, I will say the quickest way to do that is to start just knocking people out. No, like, you know, wrestling the, the, the weapons out of their arms is not going to stop them from, you know, jamming their fucking the, the, the nose bone into their brain. Um, but so knocking people out, you guys start to just throw hands with everyone. Um, 
eventually, <laughs> eventually, <laughs> this is for your own good. <laughs> eventually, everyone is unconscious. There is no sign of Gregor. Gregor, the last thing you remember, the last thing you saw, was that thing dripping onto you, and then your consciousness was gone. So are we just going to sit here and wait? Like, what do you want to do, Masha? <laughs> I don't know. Disrupt the, the 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 blood path of whatever is pulling. I guess I don't. Yeah. You to for to for up? reference, the blood is still pooling in the very center. Yeah. Stop. Let's let's stop that. I guess. So I don't we want to clean it up. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm gonna look around for like a mop or something. <laughs> You won't find a mop here. We'll just take their clothes off, their I'll robes off, and use it to some their clothes. Yeah. You guys disrupt the chalk outline <laughs> as you guys do this. Uh, the blood falls. No longer once the chalk outline is is meaningfully disrupted, it is no longer a pooling mountain of blood. It just begins to drip out from itself. Nothing? <laughs> is the book still there? Or is that gone too? The book is gone. The book left with Gregor. What the, what the fuck? You gotta call somebody. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck we are you gonna call? call or, I mean, we give Jessica a call. Bodies in the sewer and dip, okay? What? <laughs> They're going into the sewer anyways. Let's just like push them in and then deuce out of here. <laughs> Gregor is gone. He just disappeared. Dead body. At least one. Like. I'm, gonna get I'm not trying to go to prison, Martin. I'm not. We're not going to. <laughs> Jessica's not going to say that's not going to rat us out. All right. She's family. She look. I'm going to give Jessica a call. <laughs> give Jessica a call. I'm losing my fucking mind here. <laughs> you give Jessica a call. What's up, buddy? Miss me already? Uh, yeah, we, we need you bad. I don't know what's going on. There's blood pulling. Gregor's disappeared. We knocking cultists out. What the People fuck are you talking about? We need your help. We need your help. Where are you? What are you talking about? Uh, I'm trying to give her our location and... You guys give like, you give her your directions again. Uh, for anyone with a modicum of sense of direction, New York is a fucking mm. grid system. You'll be able to tell them, tell tell Jessica where you turned, you know what street you turned down, what uh, you could fucking and, and it's a it's a grid system. You can tell people the exact fucking alleyway you're in. Well, I was just gonna ping, you know, send, ping my location, you know, send my location to her smartphone. But it's confusing because you see. I still use squares. flip phones. So. You ping uh, and wait for Jessica. She promises, like, I'll be there soon. Just don't do anything fucking weird. Man, They're killing it's themselves. Fucked. Yeah. What are you, who's killing themselves? The fucking cultists. <laughs> Okay. There's a fucking Seder, and we had to start punching people. Shit is fucked, and it's some weird shit. All and right, I'll be there soon. We're I, new to weird shit. I'm sorry. I'll be there soon. I'll be there with some help with some weird shit. I'll be there as soon as possible. I'll be right there. Fuck. I don't have a cloud like you guys. I can't just... That's not a thing I can do. All right. Yeah, I got them. Should we get the bodies together? Like, separate them living from dead? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. Oh, my we God. We're going to tie, tie them up in case they wake up, though. 
Only if they're alive. I mean, I'm not going to tie up a dead body. Yeah, okay? There's a woman that comes. Alive. There's a there's an, another door into this. Uh, as I said, this looked like it was in the back of a shop. There's a little old woman that opens the door and just says, like, <laughs> Timothy, it's time to stop playing with your friends. I ah! Starts to scream. Oh, my oh, fucking shit. I'll knock her out. <laughs> <laughs> It's free, you <laughs> knock out this old woman. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> there he is, knocked out. Um, I'm not going to prison again. Okay. You've been to prison? What? No, no, hang on. This isn't about that. Where the fuck is Jessica? Uh, you guys um, are waiting for Jessica. Um, and uh, it, it, it takes a minute. And again, uh, there's nothing to cut away to. It's just you two, Gregor. Your consciousness is gone. You are no longer... You do not exist. Yeah. The last thing you remember yeah. before before that... Um, it is, you're gone, dude. There is no, there is no, no life there's... after death and there's nothing. You, you are from dust and from to dust you shall return. Majin Charles, you guys are sitting there with a pile of bodies, some living, <laughs> some dead, waiting are there, for are, let's, Jessica. Let's tie up the grandma. Are there other books? Turn up the granny first. Uh, it looks like most of the books have been cleared out, but you know, there's a bits of scraps, scraps, bits of paper and whatnot. Um, I'll, it looks like, again, weird geometry, um, you know, and in weird uh, like sigils and like arcane nonsense. Um, you 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 do find, you know, a name, a name that you know very well, or at least you thought you knew it very well. So it's like a memory. You know, the name sounds familiar. It sounds like an old friend, someone that you haven't talked to in a long time. It says Gregor DeWitt. And you think you remember. You think you remember that you had, you know, met a Gregor once. Fuck. Hey, Charles, you recognize this? Charles, you look at the name. No, I can't even remember why the fuck we're here right now, okay? Like, why did we follow this, Sater? Okay? This is a whole fucking mess that I can't remember this, why it started. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. Well. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. How the fuck did we follow a beggar and end up with, like, five goddamn dead bodies? They can't all be dead. I don't know, okay. worst case scenario, right? Like... Look, it's okay. Once Jessica gets here, I don't know what the fuck they were doing, but we'll figure it out. She'll figure it out. Uh, Yeah. Jessica weird shit. arrives after a few more minutes. What the fuck is happening here? Oh my god. Help. What did you guys do? We didn't... Who are the these people? started killing themselves. Look. I don't know who the fuck they are. All I remember is a fucking... A satyr talking shit, pulling a knife out, and then and we literally just Charles had breakfast. Out of grandma. What? How did you guys do this? In, I did. It's been like it, it's been like an hour. <laughs> I also knocked out an old lady because because she scared me and saw the dead body, and I didn't know what to do. All right, listen. Um, I'm gonna get the girls on this. Um, this doesn't look like normal, 
you know, crime shit. This looks like weird arcane cult shit. Um, are all those people fucking dead? I don't think so. We didn't kill them if they are. They they did that themselves. They just started snapping their own fucking necks <laughs> like they're suicidal chickens or some shit. I don't even know how how do you do that. This is insane. I've been God, dude, I an hour. An hour. It's been an hour since we saw each other. It's been an hour since we saw like we had breakfast. I I know they were moving books and stuff out. This is all that's left, really. Um, I don't They're know. They're really just dropping it into the sewer. Into the sewer? Yeah. Did no one pursue? Oh, yeah, for look. the love of God. She starts to make a phone call. She rounds up. It takes a little bit of time to... Uh, you know, the, the, her hunting party of Artemis to arrive on the scene. The police, of course, are called as well. Those that are unconscious eventually wake up and they're kept as witnesses by the police and by the daughters of Artemis. You have no memory of Gregor DeWitt. That name no longer holds any meaning for you. The scrap of paper you were clutching onto, Majin, you look down at it eventually, and you don't know why this one was so important to you. Take some time. You're questioned by the police. Questioned by the Daughters of Artemis in a less official capacity, of course. The police doesn't know what to make of this. A mass suicide after you guys had pursued a satyr, a homeless satyr. For no reason. This is the second strange occurrence you guys are linked to. Don't leave town. Eventually, you're free to go. You walk the streets of New York. You end up at the bar that someone introduced to you a long time ago, you think. A place where you can get free drinks from winning a fight. A place where P.I.s and old beat cops hang out. You guys begin to drink, discussing whatever occurred today. What would you guys like to do? Who the fuck am I supposed to take west again? What are you talking about? Well, I got that... I got that thing from my dad, and he was like, hey, you need to take such and such and go west. Who the fuck were I thought we was just supposed to go to California or something. Charles, you... Is that what it was? It could be that. But Charles, you, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe you were supposed to take somebody. Maybe your dad was going to provide somebody. You know, it's not outside of his... Not jurisdiction, but it's outside of his realm of, of influence to just pick somebody up and be like, Hey kid, you want to go on a journey? I mean, you do need disciples, so, you know. Might as well. Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, man. I really Why wish... did we end up? Picking a fight with those scions at that organization. Bro. What are you doing? I don't know what your problem is. What are you doing? I don't know. Things just feel weird. Every time I'm with you, something weird happens. All right? Maj and Charles, you guys have both been drinking for a little bit. You realize that you both have to piss. 
Don't follow me. What? Don't follow me. You guys both head into the restroom. Do your business. There's uh, one sink. You guys find yourselves almost like childlike where you... Get the fuck away from me. No, I have to wash my hands. Fuck off. You know. You catch a glimpse of the mirror. It's dirty. It's filthy. Some graffiti on it. It's that scratched in a um, little bit of lettering and such. And then there is a dark man in the mirror. Gregor, suddenly you exist. Your friends are beyond this gate. Everything is surrounding you is darkness. All there is is this one little window. If you can just reach your friends, everything will be okay. It has been hundreds, thousands, maybe millions of years, and you've been alone all this time. You start to reach out. Maj and Charles, you guys see this dark figure reaching for you from the mirror. What would you guys do? Punch the mirror. You punch the mirror, it shatters. Gregor, the window. Oh, shit. The fuck was that? Gregor. I cannot believe not. you broke another mirror here. Gregor, the window is not gone. There's still hope. There's little shards. You can make it. You can fit. I will I will attempt to fit. Maj and Charles is you kinda of like I can't believe you broke another mirror. You guys start to go toward the the exits of the restroom and you guys hear a scream just Aah! A hand, a bloody hand, reaches out of one of the larger shards of glass and begins to pry itself, crawling toward anything, just toward something. Question, would it help if I moved other if I moved the shard to other shards? There's no point in, no point in uh, not trying. Uh, you start yeah, to so. move the other shards. You guys see another uh, hand reaches out and starts to maneuver shards. These bloodied hands, caked almost like a newborn. The skin looks soft and fresh. You guys are appalled, uh, aghast at this. You guys see, eventually, enough shards have competed, so Gregor is crawling, naked, bloody, and screaming out of the mirror shards, birthed anew. And then suddenly you remember everything. Gregor DeWitt, your friend. You remember why you chased the satyr. You remember what happened today. Gregor is naked and screaming, clutching this book. I'm going to kick Just... open the door and yell, you are not going to believe what I dropped in your toilet. <laughs> Just, just yelling, I live! Screaming, oh. bloody, and naked, just amongst broken mirror shards, in a fetal position, just clutching this book, eyes wide, is your friend Gregor. I'll rush over to him. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I made that a little more difficult for you, huh? Uh, I didn't exist! But I made it! I'm what gonna, the I'm fuck, Gregor? Where'd you go? I didn't I don't think I went anywhere I went to nowhere no you fucking disappeared bro. I'm gonna put my <laughs> jacket around Gregor I don't no no I I, okay. I, 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 okay, I went buddy. again to nowhere hair slicked and matted against himself by blood and again much like a newborn your skin Gregor you had scars before is soft and new much like a newborn. <laughs> Look at my hand where I've got a uh, scar, where I had a scar going along here from one time when I was falling and I put my hand out and landed on something that was not supposed to be, have a hand put on it. It's gone. <laughs> the scar is gone. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Take this shirt. My jacket? Please wrap. Wrap this yeah, around the I'll front. Wrap up in my jacket. Front. Yeah, I, I. 
I got a shirt and a jacket, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm a... I'm not giving you my pants. <laughs> I didn't think you would. Um, you can use mine if you need them. Not taking your pants. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll make a makeshift loincloth with the jacket and the shirt. You do this, um... And then, I'm just... I'm not gonna say shit. I'm not gonna try to explain anything. I'm gonna walk home. Do you take the book with you? Yes. I, I fucking... No. This... You guys, uh, you guys see the door open. Gregor walks out again, naked, bloody. Uh, and Jeremy just looks at the... Like, Are you fucking kidding me? I don't need this. I just <laughs> came back from nothing. <laughs> and I just walk out. Mug I just Charles, you got mirror in there. Yeah. You got a broken mirror in there. Why? Why? <laughs> it was like I didn't do it this time. Don't look at me. It. Why was he covered in blood? What were Probably you guys doing? There's a broken mirror in there. Don't you, fucking you act like it's my fault. Don't act like it's my hazard. <laughs> every, time, every time you guys have come in, you guys have broken something. Oh. Well, we're going to be heading west soon enough anyways. That reminds me. Can you let Horace know I won't be here next week? When Fuck he, you. When he plans to get his pensions? No. Fuck off. Okay. Get, leave my bar. Right. Whatever. Okay. Can I have a beer for the road? Go fuck yourself. Well, you take care of yourself, Jeremy. Yeah, you too, Charles. You guys follow after Gregor. He's easily the strangest thing on New York right now. On New York yeah, streets. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's hard to do. Yeah. Yeah, just, just walking. Just have that broken look on my face but it's more because i don't have any other expression i could possibly ex have and that was the look my face was a uh, was in when i walked out just i don't know what to think about what just happened you guys eventually make it to your apartment gregor most things yeah. are packed it's, it's home Sh shower you go the, shower the yeah. You are haunted by memories. <laughs> Things in the nothingness, as you remember them, begin to form. You remember New York. You remember it being watched by great and terrible beings. You stand, you stood among the streets alone for those years watched by these great and terrible things your presence here brought their eyes on new york city so they watched and then eventually they touched and that was all it took Ajahn, charles what would you guys like to be doing Should we give him a second to just kind of get his shit together in the shower? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Because we're playing PS5. Yeah. It's a weird fucking day. I can't believe I killed that dude. <laughs> Gregor. Grandma? Yeah. Um, what did you do with the book? Is the book in the shower with you, or like in the bathroom it's, with you? I should say it's in the bathroom. I it it's it's in the bathroom. I'm. It's one of those things where like I it was the only thing that survived non-existence. I was naked, therefore something about this is important. I don't know what. Also, I'm. Yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like that thing is not leaving my side makes sense so you guys are playing ps5 out in the uh in the uh apartment um uh, gregor you have showered what would you like to do uh, 
part of me wants to read the book. Another part of me says, don't read the book. That's a bad idea. Um, read the book. You and open. We'll look. Yep. Any particular page? Uh, as of right now, I don't know what this book is about. So, uh, I would flip. I would try to find, see first any sort of contents, table of contents, index, anything like that. No. It okay. It is a single page when you first open it. It just says two words over and over and over. Gregor DeWitt. Gregor DeWitt. Gregor DeWitt. It repeats page after page after page after page. What? Put his name in your book. Yeah, put your name in his book. This is his book? This is the... What? That's the only... Th mm -hmm. What? That's all that's written in the book, I mean, at this point. Reflection is a bad idea, I feel. However, has my knack, was my knack activated before or after I entered that terrible thing? After. Okay, so I don't have that permanently scarred into my memory. Good. And for your knowledge, uh... When you go to sleep tonight, you will forget that you existed or didn't exist outside of reality for hundreds, thousands, millions of years. You will simply know that it is an inordinate amount of time where you were gone. But for okay. now, you know. I will grapple with that. Part, part of me wants to to shove it down, but gosh darn it, I made this man inquisitive, so he's going to be inquisitive. Um, he'll likely, as he remembers, take notes like he does with any case. As much as a bad idea as that sounds. He t he's he's good at note he was good at note taking. Indeed. Uh do you step out of the bathroom to do this? Yeah, I'll uh, kinda just go sit on the uh on the cot I sleep I sleep on as they play and probably just on a notepad just I would hope that your friends aren't just gonna keep playing PS five and their traumatized friend isn't gonna you're like they're like, yeah, no, you finish with the shower. Hey, man, and then just continues playing PS Five. I would hope that you have better friends than that. Here's what I imagine: the doors behind them, they're too in depth into the game. They'll turn around. Like he's been in there a while. Turn around. I'm just sitting there. I got dressed. Oh. Everything. That... That's hey, how. I, that's how I imagine it. Hi. Are Are you okay? No. Do you want to talk about it? Maybe later. I'm just trying to understand what happened. This is why you always keep a case in the fridge. <laughs> now all you got is fucking water. I have <laughs> Pepsi. Pepsi. You want, do you want us to go out and grab some beers to bring back? No. Well, shit, man. I I okay. don't. I uh, I don't know if that would help. You want some takeout? Yeah, if you could go to the Chinese place around the corner. Gregor, um, as you're sitting there, 
uh, the book in hand, you have notes written, and kind of just absentmindedly answering questions. The splitting of attention as this trauma is causing you a little bit more uh, clumsiness. You cut your finger, paper cut. It doesn't even really register to you. And then you realize that you are not bleeding blood. Golden ichor is seeping from your paper cut. Oh, that's cool. I'm a scion now. That is cool. So take out. <laughs> yeah. Orange Fucking chicken, it. please. In threes, Gregor. In threes. <laughs> when did you say that? Come on, Martin. I need you to help me get the takeout. You gonna be good by yourself? I shouldn't do anything crazy. I swear, if we come back and you're fucking gone, I am I swear, bro. All right? I'll be fine. I'm not going to go anywhere. I I won't go nowhere. Don't worry. All right. All right. We'll be right back. Orange chicken, right? Yep. All right, man. And the, the noodles, not the rice. I hate the rice. Yeah. Orange chicken, lo mein. Got it. Yep. You guys go to get your friend some sustenance. Gregor, it's been a day. You realize at some point along this, you became a scion. You had a visitation. Though you have no answers as to who your divine... Uh, parent, your divine representative is. Majin, Charles, you guys travel. You eventually bring back uh, sustenance. And there is a phone call. On your phone, Gregor. This is Gregor. Mr. DeWitt, this is the NYPD Police Department. I'm Detective Johnson. Um, we wanted to let you know that, uh, the incident from earlier today, you are, you and your friends are cleared of being suspects. You are no longer, uh, under investigation, which wanted to make it official and let you know that you're free to, uh, move as you wish. Our earlier warning of don't, don't leave the city by all means. Uh, again, you're f clear and free of all charges. We thought we'd like to deliver the good news to you. Thank you. That is good news. Uh, you were also cleared of the uh, uh, earlier incident uh, with uh, the uh, the fortune teller. I don't have her name on my desk. I apologize. I understand she was a friend of yours. She is still uh, in recovery, but yeah, you are also no longer well, a suspect in that case either. All right. Uh, that's wonderful. Th that's wonderful news. Thank you very much for letting us know. Uh, have a wonderful day. Hope to speak with you again soon, Master. Click. The, the phone just drops. I'm sitting on the cot, so it drops to the cot. I'm just... Who is that? We're cleared of all charges. We can leave the city. The journey to the west can happen... Yay! We can get out of here now? Woo. We won't have to stick around after I definitely fucking killed that guy. You didn't kill that guy, according to you the law. You didn't see how much blood came out of that man's head. I that even knocked out an old lady. Like, Listen, the That's law says right, we're man. okay. <sighs> Our heroes, acquitted of all <laughs> charges, no longer uh, part of any investigation, no longer being investigated. Oh. Our third, having had his visitation, though he may not know it quite yet, no details on the divine parentage. Our three scions, visited and awakened. 
And that is where we'll end today's session of Scion Godsend. Thank you so much for joining us. We are trucking right along. What a wonderful time. Uh, how's everyone yes. doing? Oh, absolutely great. Yeah, anyone accomplished short-term short -term deeds? Uh, mine was investigate the visions I had gotten. Oh, you Does investigated those. Okay. <laughs> investigate cool. the fuck out of those. Woo! Uh, I believe the other two was something to do with the RV, yeah? Yeah, it was uh, in the RV, I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll add some XP and whatnot. Um, once again, thank you for joining us. We are the Rolling Nomads. I am your story guide for the Rolling Nomads, Gilbert Ramos. Uh, you can find us on YouTube uh, under Rolling Nomads. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at underscore Rolling Nomads and Instagram at underscore Rolling Nomads as well. Um, and again, uh, I will have the YouTube videos up on our YouTube channel. Uh, you can find me at Ramos the Nomad basically everywhere. Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, um, all that good stuff. Um, and I hope to see you guys next Sunday for episode four of Scion Godsend, where no more visitations. The journey to the West can start. Let's start by going south. <laughs> Oh, always. Um, anyone have a, anyone else have anything to plug? No, I don't Ooh. exist. <laughs> God, <laughs> terrifying. Um, all right. If nobody else has anything to plug, we thank you guys very much for joining us, and we'll see you guys again uh, next Sunday, same time, same scions. Adios.